Hi everybody, behind me here I have a new 20 inch iMac from Apple and in the next few minutes I'm going to show you all the neat features and, and all the ins and out of this computer and it's really nice and it comes with uh, 2 gigs of DDR3 memory, uh, 320 gig drive and it's expandable to 8 gigs of RAM so it's pretty cool. I'm going to show you in the video how to uh, expand the memory on that, it's really easy and uh, also it comes with a nice little thin keyboard that you can see here, it's an aluminum keyboard it's not wireless, it has a cable attached to it, but it is very thin, very small, and very portable. So it's really, really nice to have this keyboard. Um, that's one of the things it comes with. And it also comes with a Mighty Mouse, which is a one button mouse. And um, if you install Boot Camp on this computer and uh, you boot into the Windows side of it, you can use this mouse to right click. So you don't need to buy another mouse. The cable is kind of small, uh, it's kind of short actually. Uh, I would recommend to get yourself a wireless keyboard and mouse, uh, especially if you're going to be using it all the time, it would be really nice. It'd be really nice to do that. Um, like I said, stay in touch in the next few minutes, and I'm going to show you all this stuff. One last thing I wanted to mention was uh, if you use Boot Camp, which is built with the Mac OS X operating system, to install, partition your drive, and install a second operating system so you can have, let's say, Windows uh, XP on the other partition. There is a program that allows you to install it on the Mac. It creates a menu for it for you, so it's easy. To boot up, so when you boot up the the computer itself, it will give you a menu where you'll be able to choose the Mac OS X or the Windows operating system every time you boot up. So it makes it easy to choose which one you want, and you can set which one you want by default to boot up every time. So it's really cool. I'm going to show you that in a few minutes, and thank you for watching. I appreciate it. As you can see here, is the camera is on the front of it, and the microphone's right on the top. And basically, it's very neat. You can't hardly even see these things. So it looks really elegant the way they place this on the, on the actual computer. On the side here is an actual super drive, an 8x super drive, and uh, it also pops in very well. The, the way you put it in is the label of the CD needs to be facing towards you, and uh, just put it in and it pops right in to the machine. To eject the CD, normally you just right click on, on your desktop here, you'll see the I actual icon. If you can actually have a Windows mouse on it and you right click on it, you can just eject it and it'll pop out the CD itself. So it takes about a second or so, but uh, it right it comes out and you just take it out. Remember the label has to be facing you and uh, that's the way to put it in there. All right, here in the back of it, uh, let me uh, zoom out a second so I can show you, is the back of the machine. Uh, when you look at the back of it, it has four, uh, let me start uh, from the left here, you have the uh, headphones that you can put here, or speakers, if you have external speakers, it already, it already has speakers built in, so you won't need speakers, but um, in it, they're pretty good, they're really loud, and so you can actually plug in speakers there, you also have a line in right next to it, and then you have four USB ports right along here, you also have a FireWire port 800, which is really good, it has a one gigabit LAN right here, and a mini display port right here. Now the uh, one one gigabyte LAN. I want to tell you that the wireless that comes on board this machine also is a it's an actual wireless N. So you do get really good speeds. I was getting 270 uh, megabits uh, transfer rate. So it's really good. Um, so definitely is very well. And also um, on the other side here, you have the uh, power button. So you can actually just power it on and off right over here. So basically, those are the only two things that it has in the back that you have to actually be aware of. Everything else is just basically the speakers are, are tucked in. Alright, this is the bottom of the iMac and um, on, there's a little instructions here on how to upgrade the, the memory on it. So there's a, there's a little sticker you can actually peel off and when you peel it off it's actually engraved part of the, uh, of the metal here. So of the aluminum. So you'll be able to actually always follow those instructions. But it's really easy. Basically you lift the machine up here and there is a Phillips screw here. So you can I just gotta get is a Phillips screwdriver. Pop that screw out. Um, basically, take it out. Once you take it out, the little panel will come right out. All right. Now this little panel comes back out, and in here, you can see there's a little flap of plastic. You can just pop this little flap of plastic out, and uh, this will help you pull the memory out. So all you have to do is grab really nice and tight the memory, and when you pull this out, it'll actually loosen up the memory here. So just pull this out like that and the memory chip will come right out. Let me see if I get this real quick here. It's a little tight because it's the first time I've ever taken it out, but there it is. So, uh, all you gotta do is just, like I said, pull the plastic piece out and it'll actually pop the memory out of place. It's a regular memory DDR3. It's a notebook memory. Just pop back in there the new ones and you're good to go. So you can put up to eight gigs of RAM on this machine. 
to put it back, just go ahead and uh, pop in the memory again. Remember the same way it came out, so that you place it back into the same uh, in the same manner. Make sure you push the memory in. Okay, once you push it in completely, then grab the little plastic flap and put it back in place so that it doesn't stick out on both places. So if you upgraded the RAM on this machine, all you have to do is basically do that. Pop this plastics out, pop the memory back, put a new memory in it, make sure it's nice and tight, push it in, and then put the little plastic pieces. Once you're done with the plastic pieces, go ahead and put the little panel and then screw it back on with the actual screw that it has and uh, you should be good to go. It's really easy to do. This is a nice little easy upgrade to get done on the machine. Uh, and once you get it done, you basically have 8 gigs of RAM on it. Remember that if you're using Windows XP or Vista 32-bit, you won't be able to see more than 2.5 two, two gigs or 3 gigs of RAM since that operating system won't work with that. You would have to have a 64-bit operating system in order to see the 8 gigs of RAM. But definitely, uh, if you need it for Photoshop or programs like that, the definitely 8 gigs is worth uh, putting it on the machine because it will actually give you a lot better performance. One last thing I wanted to mention was something that's really important is to get yourself a backup drive. Here I have a one terabyte drive which goes for about $120 so you can actually get, pick this up at any store. It is, a, it is a little bit bulky but it will sit on your desk and it's really easy. If you want something smaller, uh, they sell these little ones for about 500, they're about 500 gigs for about $100. So. Uh, this is also very tiny and they can sit on your desk and take it with you. This is actually a better option because you can take this wherever you go. And since the Mac only has a 320 gig drive, a 500 gig will be perfect because you'll be able to back up all your stuff onto this. And it's really important, the reason why I mentioned this, it's not only because of the backups, but if you're using Boot Camp and you have the two operating systems where you have the Mac OS and the Windows uh, XP, let's say on the other side, when you boot up into the Windows XP side of it, you will not be able to access the Mac side of it, so you won't be able to access the files. So what you want to be able to use the uh, USB drive as a as a bridge, so to speak, uh, because you can actually put pictures or photos, anything you want to put here. Uh, if you want to put videos, and then go ahead and let's say boot into the Windows side, you can access them and also copy them there and access them on the Mac side of it. Uh, you will be able to access on the Mac the the Windows uh, partition and copy files off of it, but you won't be able to actually able to write to it, which is what you, what's important. You'll be able to read, but not write to it. Okay, and uh, the only way you can write to it is if you format the drive as a FAT32 drive. If you leave it as a FAT32, you will be able to read and write to it. If you format it as an NTFS, you will not be able to do that. You will only be able to read from it. Okay, so uh, definitely that's really important. Just keep that in mind. Uh, before you do that, but you do need a backup uh, option. It is really cool uh, to, to have that and uh, if you want to also look at something that you might want to do is uh, check out Carbonite.com which is a website where you can actually um, do backups, online backups. So you can have multiple backups and you can have Carbonite or something like this. Okay, so it's Carbonite.com. Just visit AramisTech.com. I will put all the links there for you and all the technical specs on this machine so you'll be able to access all the stuff that you need right from there. So it's a lot easier. Uh, on the Mac, I just want to mention uh, regarding the software that comes with it. You have iLife 09, which is built uh, on, you know, it comes with it already. And uh, iLife 09 has iPhoto, iMovie, iWeb, all these things are really cool. I'm going to put some links there at aramistech.com so you can check out um, what, what it is. And uh, if you're looking to get a Mac, this is actually one of those neat things. I honestly believe that the Mac is a great computer to have for uh, creativity. So you can do videos and photos and everything like that. And for my workhorse, I use a Windows machine because I definitely need a lot of the programs out there that are Windows based that are not for Mac. Uh, but you can now do everything with this. So you can actually buy you this machine and I know it's a little bit pricey. This goes for about $1,200. Okay? And, uh, but you could use this machine to boot into Windows and have the Mac OS. So you have the best of both worlds all in one machine. Very easy to take with you and uh, it's nice and it looks very elegant. I want to take a small moment to thank you all for all your great comments on my videos, uh, for taking the time to do that and letting me know, and also for subscribing to my videos. I really appreciate all of that. Uh, it makes all this worthwhile, and uh, I just want to share information with all of you, and I'm glad that you appreciate it, and uh, I see you guys enjoy my videos. Thank you so much, and I really appreciate it.